Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is Introduction to Tableau Basics. And this is the fifth lesson of a series of seven lessons. In the previous four lessons, we covered connecting the data, creating basic chart types, dashboards, and then we learned how to really slice and dice data using filtering. And this next one, we're gonna take it up a notch and do something that would be extremely difficult to do in other productivity software such as Excel. So let's take a look. So we're gonna do mapping. So this is gonna look very familiar. We're not gonna to touch it. Uh, so let's go to this new worksheet where you can click on worksheet or you can press control M and we're gonna cover mapping. So mapping is really interesting because it allows you to present a visual view of how your data looks. And uh, it's, uh, it's hard to explain, but when you have something in a table and has different cities, hard to get in context of like how close or how far away these cities are from, from one another. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna first create what we call a hierarchy. And a hierarchy is important uh, because it allow us to uh, expand in group data that's very similar. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click, click on state, then click on control, click on city, and then we're gonna hit create hierarchy, and we're gonna press okay. And then you'll see the hierarchy up here. We're just going to make sure state is up here. So you always want to make sure that your broader group is, is there. So what we're going to do here is always at the top. We're going to double click state. And then what you'll see here is that it's automatically created the map. But you'll see that it didn't like what we're doing. And the reason why is that I have it country-wise. I have it in Canada. But it's actually the United States. So... And then what you'll see here. So make sure you have it on United States if you add on Canada. And the reason why I had it on Canada is because I think my computer defaulted to, to Canada. So what you'll see here is you'll have all these circles, which is which is great. Uh, and that's that's one interesting view. What we're gonna do here is there's two different types of charts. There's symbols and there's maps. So right now these circles really mean nothing besides that there's some records in each of these various states. So what we're gonna click here is we're gonna click on fill map. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag profit to color. And then the power of visualization is that we can instantly see where the problem child is. So you can hover over, you can see the problem child's in Montana. So really, like it probably took you three seconds to identify that Montana was an issue. And what we can do here is we can click on edit colors. And then we can go to advance and we click on center which is zero, and then we can make it, say, 20 different steps. And then what you'll see here is how it breaks down by the, the various states. So that's good. So we're going to call this profit by state. That's one view. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to this, this second sheet. We're going to click a new sheet, and we're going to double-click state again. And then just an the example of like why we group things is right now it's showing by state. We can also show it by city uh, there's a lot of records here so you can see a, like a completely different view and a click of a button so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a different chart we're going to use these symbol maps and what we're going to do here is we're going to change it from automatic to pi and then what we're going to do next is we're going to change it to we're going to add color to product category or we're going to add product category to color so that's good and then we're going to add sales to angle and then we're gonna add sales to size and then we're just gonna increase the size so immediately what you can do from this view is understand what how what, what which state has the biggest sales so you can see California is a very large sales and then as well understand what the sales breakdown for each of those are so we're gonna click on color we'll click on border and we're gonna add the border in just so it's a little bit easier to see and now we're going to have some fun. We're going to change around map options. So we're going to go map options. And there's three immediate styles. So there's, right now it's always going to default to light. But you can have it on normal. Oh. So it's a little bit of lag there. Normal. So which is like a normal map view. And for some people reason, people really like this view. Which is dark. It's a little, something a little bit different. Add a little bit of flavor. I, I can appreciate that. 
you can also add coastline in so you see right now the coastline is not really that defined so we add a coastline in adds like a little like white tint when it's dark so it's that's good that's interesting to see you can also add place names so you can see now it's added the various cities so and there's various other options and some of these are grayed out because uh, the view is too large but so we're gonna call this sales mix by state so really interesting view created using maps and something a little bit more dynamic that's that's something that you wouldn't typically see so that's it for now so I'll, I'll leave it there so hopefully you learned a few things and I'll see you in the next lesson thank you bye